Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail. In this episode, we start our series in Ivy Branch, Hatfield, and McCoy. And this system in particular, we had a couple double black diamonds, which Shane and Josh wanted to either go up or go down. And so this is for Trail 94. This is the hard part. Like if you wanted to do this line. Well, this parallels this trail. So it probably is the lower rut. So it's easy bypass. Yeah, and it's down, and I think so it's probably a rocky creek. I'll do it. I mean, we can go down it. I don't care. I'm not going to do this because I'll just bottom out and. I mean, actually, these are probably not that bad. Well, what, if you come down that side, just the other side. <clears throat> Here we go. Then Stick test down. again. It's that's, soft mud, so you're not going to get traction. That's deep. Well, that's, that's all dug out. That's you probably dug out by Jeeps and shit. I was going to say, you ain't getting up there. You need that. a little momentum to get up that. Yeah, just bump it a little bit. I'll try. <laughs> This is where you guys want me to break my dip. Oh. You might get that. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, you have to either just be flat or go straight down to the right. Well, if you come down this way, you stay to the left, you stay here, and keep on going your momentum. You can't stop. Yeah, you can't stop on that. Oh yeah, don't step on that. <laughs> I'll I'll go down if everybody wants to walk it and then we can guide the rest of the people through. So then then you're down in the gully. Well down other option is you come down here and you can go right down that. There we go, Josh. Into the mud puddle. Shane has been our lead when it comes to making sure that everybody gets down safe and it doesn't matter whether it's a rock shelf or a hill or maybe a tight squeeze. Shane has a lot of experience in full size from his past life so we pretty much let him lead us as well Josh as well. You know, Josh has uh, a lot more experience than everybody else and he pushes himself on his Turbo S. 35-inch tire is a lot greater than any of our other machines or our capabilities would be. Just going down this little shelf, Shane was very critical in making sure everybody went down, did it properly, didn't scrape their roof, and didn't damage their machines.
the back it doesn't look that bad. Obviously we get a little bit of front camera here with Shane's video. Please subscribe and give us a like if you enjoy our videos oh, and hit the notification up. bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Can you back out of that? Turn passenger. 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 Oh, this way. Hey. Passenger. Forward. Waterfall. Woo, that's my toe. Everybody continue to come down, make their way through the mud puddles. And everybody went down straight. Nobody went around any of the obstacle mud holes. I should have just waited down there. See, that drop ain't that bad. Right, now straight. And then it was my turn for the drop off and Shane was going to guide me down so I wouldn't clip my light bar or roof. And once again from Shane's angle you can see the Honda being just a little over 70 inches with the new tires. Yep. Keep it straight. Okay. Come on. Yep. Yep. Back up, passenger. Come, there you go. Yep. Okay, all right. Yeah, um, all right. You got this far? Keep it, keep it that way, you're good. And this way.
He can't hear me. Let me go on a batch of light. No, you're fine. All right. What you're, what you're going to do? This tire is going to drop off. My back end will go up in the air. Actually, no. What's going to happen is you're going to drop off that side and this side pretty much. Actually, you're going to drop off this side first. So you're going to go that way. But you'll be fine. Stay straight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stay straight from here. Tires where they are now. Yeah. But when you get down here, your ass end's still going to be up there. So you're going to go like this. Like yeah, you're gonna go like that, but you're not gonna go over. It's straight. Yeah. yeah, don't goose it either. Just ride through it, okay? All right. That's all. Yep. So hey, dude, you cleared your roof that much. Straight. Yeah. My man. Dude, you cleared your roof under that ledge? That much. <laughs> like your whole roof was. Good job, man. Good job. All right. Then we made it further down the trail, me bringing up the rear, but looking forward to more adventure further down, which I'm sure we would find. The Josh Mobile. See what they're all looking at. And the next drop off further down was a little more intimidating, but Everybody was confident we'd be able to get down. It's the finale. Yeah, this is the shit that we're really. This is. I don't really want to turn us around and try and go back out. You gotta come over here and down that one. Yeah. So we were. I was talking about. He. Honestly, your tires are gonna have to sit on this coming down. So you're gonna come down like this. Turn into the ball really hard, right? Yeah. Honestly, you almost want to just take your front end off of this even. Like when you're coming off, you just want it to come off. I, I don't know. Why do you not roll on that thing? Your tire. That's a little slippery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yes, I am. Look, people go up here. Yeah.
looks pretty scary. It's not for the faint heart, I'll tell you that. You gotta go right down, you gotta go right in the, just pretty much in the center of the So base. you want your side of your tires on this? Yeah. And for us, we need to come up high on this so our tires come in up here on this crack. Right? It's gonna feel sketch as shit. But it's this gonna is gonna feel sketchier for me because my sway bars are hooked up. Yours are gonna, yours are gonna articulate a yeah. lot. Um, no, but for me, if I can get up high enough on this and come turn into it to where my ass in will hit this too, I'll drop right down. No issues. Well, you're not gonna flip over. It's gonna hit the side. Right. You're not. If you were up there, there's nothing gonna save you. Yeah. You did that side. The side grip on those zillas. Insane. Yeah, they work pretty good. Was I even turning? Was I just like parallel with the rock on the side of the tire? Yeah. It would have been the whole way. me fucking up my machine. Yeah, your tire, you came, your tire rode this all the way down. <laughs> and then you actually came up a little bit and then dropped down. You guys, with Godzilla, my slide. That's, that's why I want to keep turning into the rock, I think. Yeah, if we can get them into this crack. Because once you get onto this, there's no steering. You're not going to be able to steer out of this. Yeah, it's it's locked. Right. right. So, well, the other thing we could do is hook a cable or a winch to the back of whoever's going down. That's yeah, that's why I offered well, him. But it's just so your back end doesn't come up. Yeah. Well, I don't. Well, I don't. You think guys it's all have come. longer wheelbases. Yeah. I don't think I wasn't even close I don't think it's coming up. I don't think the wheelbase is coming up. I think you, you're just going to slide down it like your butt yeah. is sliding down it. Yeah. Right. Did you shake your head when I came down? Did something came up or whatever was I shaking your head? Turn driver. You have to turn driver. Driver? Oh, your back tire is going to be so far this way, though. I don't think I have much of a choice. Hey, Kyle, won't stay, stay still. Let me pivot you over. Come here and help me push it over. Actually, I could probably ride it out. Uh, I, I, let, let me pivot you. You're on your, your, your rock. Your left rear is about to come up, so go ahead, come forward a little. Uh, all right, yeah, hold on a sec. Is the left, is the left rear going to fall into the groove? groove. Alright, You're clear on this side, so just keep your wheel that way. Straight? Are my tires straight? Yep. You might want to come a little passenger. That's all it is. Oh, 
This way. Yeah, driving hard. You're good. Go slow. Back in, not ready to drop. Coming foot. Coming close. This way. Driver. That's all I got. Take it out of four wheel completely. You sure? Yeah. Stop. 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 Take it out of four wheel. Get a little bit of your steering back. Okay. Let's see, how's this tire look over there? It's gonna climb a little bit. Um, when you're moving forward, keep turning that way. Okay, I took off four wheel. Yeah, I'll see okay. if it would unbind them a little bit. Can you? Okay, do this. See, in two wheels, see if you can back up a little bit. Okay. While turning passenger and see if it swings this front end over just okay. a tiny bit. Because if anything, it might. There you yeah, go. You now you should be able to turn it the other way and get it off the rock. All right, put it back in four wheel. Back up, back up a hair, and then just give it like a couple inches. All right, that's good. Good. All right. Now if you can. All right. Driver. You might have to take it out of four wheel again. What? Dri yeah. Driver? Yeah. yeah, I can't turn driver. Lift lock. Take it out. Take Lift it out lock. Again. Lock makes it hard as shit, especially when all the weights on it. All right. Yeah, I'm lock. Lock. <laughs> Are you still in reverse? No. Go back oh. another inch. Go in reverse another inch. Why are you turning? Four wheel drive. Way. While you're moving, try and turn it that way. Well, okay. That's it. Looking good, looking good. Looking nice. Good. Good. There you go. Still going to want to go that way ahead. Okay, but just forward. Yep, two wheel drive. Two wheel. stuck Six more inches, the passenger 
was going to fall. Yeah, the two things that took the lens and the was going to fall. But we find two truck turning passengers. There you go. Can he put it in four wheel or no? He's wedged. You got to back up and then a winch. It's, I'd say, yeah, it's five foot on, on our right, I'd say, but. And then it was my turn to do exactly what everybody else did. And make it down without breaking anything, so that was the main goal. same line others did and learn from how they came down and what worked and what didn't work. So again, Shane and Josh guiding to make sure that the proper line was taken. Start dropping slow. 
way. Yeah, perfect. You got to drop. Vertical everybody else. God damn this way. <laughs> steering works too. Is that as far as you can turn? That's as far as it goes. Okay. You're good. He's good. Alright, this side's gonna start coming down. I can't see you, so get a little closer so I can hit you. I mean see you. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut creep down. Yep, yep. 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 And so is your this side, but this, your passenger's gonna go a little bit faster than your driver, so it might get a little tippy on you, but you should be okay. Right, turn this way a little. This way more. That's as far as it goes. Yeah. You jammed on that rock. This way really. Don't go, don't give it a lot. Reverse, just a little bit, just a little bit. You might fall that way. Alright. Normally I don't do these types of trails, but Josh and Shane made it so much easier with their coaching. So definitely recommend that you get down to Ivy Branch and check out some of the more advanced trails. We'd like to take a moment just to appreciate our partners and sponsors. Thank you for being on board with us. We do appreciate it. Be sure to get some Beaten Trail merchandise, hats and shirts, and so much more with a click of a button. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks. Yeah.